Hey friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside and this week's nursery tour. Ah, we are in the throes of the holiday season for sure. Hopefully you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Of course, here comes Christmas. Uh, the nursery is going to be open until December the 16th. So Wednesday through Friday up until December the 16th. That is our last, that is a Saturday. That, did I say Wednesday through Friday? I am so sorry, y'all. It is in the afternoon, Wednesday through Saturday. So just erase what I previously said, Wednesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. This is why I have uh, my sweet husband right here with me because I will say things and I don't even realize I said it wrong. Last day of the season though is December the 16th. If you have a unique stone order, a uh, special order, please come pick it up before then because we've got some people that still have some pieces hanging out. We're gonna get into the fun things that we have. So if you have one of those other special order, please come get it uh, by that time. And then also go out and check the website, uh, it's gardeningwithcreekside.com. We have uh, the pre-order is already up and running for next year's annuals, perennials, and then we've added new shrubs to the website. We did a video the other day about um, the shrubs that we still have in stock. So if you're in a southern climate where you can go ahead and put those in the ground, we have those available. So check those out on the website. But we are taking those pre-orders for your annuals, perennials, and the shrubs. 2024, we will ship them out according to your uh, growing zone. We're not going to ship out annuals now. This is a pre-order for all of my sweet people way back in the back. This is a pre-order. They will ship next spring according to your grow zone. But if you want to shop the best selection, then go ahead and check out the website. If you sign up for emails or text messages, then you can get either a 15 or 20% coupon off of your order. If you're ordering a lot of annuals, that will add up for sure. What we're gonna do is go through. CC has uh, worked really hard kind of revamping, redesigning the garden center here, the retail greenhouse. So we're gonna take you through and talk about some great things that you can be doing to your garden right now. Because of course, here we are in Dallas, North Carolina, zone 8A. It's gonna take me forever to get used to saying that. Uh, and so come on in. Before we go in, she has done a great job kind of creating this evergreen landscape. You could totally use this as a plan for a evergreen privacy hedge for sure. So in the back, there are the North Pole Arborvitaes. These are of course gonna be more upright and narrow, great ones from Proven Winners. We have them in the privacy berm and they do great. Hardy end zones three to eight, 10 to 15 tall, three to five wide. Beautiful, very low maintenance evergreen. Then down here in front, we have got some beautiful Laura Petalums. These are ever reds. Ever reds are <laughs> gonna do gorgeous red flowers instead of your hot pink. They are in, I'm trying to sit here and turn the tag upside down so I can look at it for you. Um, about five to six tall and wide. So that will be a gorgeous step down from those North Poles. Of course, our yin and yang viburnums. These are evergreen. These are David viburnums. I have them both in the back patio area. I love this plant. It is so easy and low maintenance. This will be, of course, a full sun planting because all of these shrubs and trees are for the full sun Last but not least, we have the Steady As She Goes Gardenia. This is gonna be one that's gonna be the little bit of the larger size Gardenia from Proven Winners, but as you can see, it does that double white bloom. It smells delicious as gardenias do. Very, very low maintenance. And y'all, these are still blooming. Here we are, you know, getting ready for Christmas and these gardenias still have buds on them. They've been sitting outside. It's not like we've been having them in a hot greenhouse and then pulled them out, but they have got fresh flowers and buds on them. Now, is that normal? Probably not, but <laughs> hey, if you can get a gardenia blooming in, you know, into November, I say, let's go for it. Here inside the retail greenhouse, CC, like I said, has been working really hard. You'll notice that the middle display, the mums are gone. We told you mums, you know, 
they're great for the fall, not so great for Christmas. We have got a beautiful display again of these gorgeous shrubs. If you're in a warmer zone like I am, it is not too late to plant. In fact, this is like prime time to be planting in your garden with your, especially if you're doing shrubs and trees and those warmer uh, perennials. Of course, you can do the pansies and the violas. We're still planting all of those. So we've, she did a great job of coming in here and giving you different kind of color like combos. So for example, this is another full sun one. You've got the sunshine ligustrum, those ever red laurel petalum that were outside, and then the azaleas from Proven Winners. So these are the Perfecto Mundo double purple. Y'all look at those blooms on this thing. Again, we have not, it's not like we've been keeping them in a hot greenhouse. These are gonna be hardy in zones 6B to 9, basically a three tall, three to four wide. These are the reblooming azaleas, so they will bloom three times in the season, spring, summer, and fall. But this is like instant. If you have somewhere, like if you, the front of your house, or maybe going down between you and your neighbor, and you wanna do a really nice, pretty screen, maybe you need privacy, but you don't want it to scream privacy screen. <laughs> if you know what I mean, you know what I mean? Like you love your neighbors, but you need a little space between them. There you go. This is what you need to do. It will be stunning and they will love it because it makes their yard look pretty too. So here's a sun option. Now, maybe you're like my mama and she lives in the shade. So she lives under tons of pine trees. So she has dry shade. Well, here's a combo for you. Another evergreen assortment of shrubs and perennials. The Florida Sunshines, this is an anise, um, an elysium. It is very deer resistant because it is in that licorice family. And if you crush the leaves, it smells like licorice. These are evergreens for the shade. So many times in the shade is dark. We want bright colors. So this Florida shuns, Sunshine is a great option for you. Then rhododendrons. Rhododendrons, of course, especially where we are, they're gonna need a break from that afternoon hot sun. Filtered sun is great for them. Now, if you're in a cooler climate, in a cooler zone, you probably could get away with more sun. Where we are, they they're definitely tend to be more shade-loving shrubs. We have a whole assortment of different varieties because we ordered some in, like this is English Rosum, and I'm pretty sure English Rosum, there's not a picture. I wanna say that it's a nice soft pink. Don't quote me on that, Professor Google can help you. Um, but just know that we have an assortment of really nice, attractive three gallon shrubs. With that, perennials. This is a, um, I don't know if this is technically considered a shrub or a perennial. I don't know, this is Charlotte's Web. Um, not Charlotte's Web, sorry, Spider's Web. I mean, it was really close, right? I can just see how I messed that up. This is a Fatsia. So I'm not, I, maybe it's considered a perennial. It's a shrub, sorry. Jerry's like behind me saying it's a shrub. All right, because it'll be four to five tall, three to four wide, um, hardy up to zone eight. Definitely going to be, in, like I said, in that shade, beautiful color variation. Um, and you've got that with the creams and the greens in there and just a, a really fun, different shape of a leaf. Nice, good size on it. And then if you were to come up um, and underplant it with the evening gown, Eucara, how pretty would that be, right? Again, that color contrast and all of this is going to be evergreen. Evergreen for your shade. So you're thinking of all of those different color combinations. Here we have, um, this is zipper. Another, this is in the Velosa family of the Corbels. So for us, knowing that these are in the Velosa species means that they are, the Velosas are native to the Southeast. So that means they can handle our heat and humidity because oftentimes we struggle with uh, Eucharas. And so that's a great option is to make sure if it has that bloodline of the Velosa. And then here she did another great pairing, Ascot Rainbow, Euphorbia, Spurge with the Feather Falls Carex. All is going to be evergreen. Your Ascot Rainbow may look a little rough at the end of the season. Um, you can cut it back and it'll boom, flush back out. <sighs> Camellias. We got camellias because it is camellia season here in the south. We have japonicas, which bloom in the late winter, and we have sasanquas, which bloom now. 
Sasanquas will tend to have a smaller leaf. Japonicas will have a bigger one. This particular one is Moonshadow, and Moonshadow is predominantly a white flower with some pink on the edge. Right now we've got some older blooms in here, but this is, you can tell from the habit, it is going to be more definitely upright. I wanna say Moonshadow is going to be in that five to six tall range, three to four wide. So very upright. If you're looking to put in a nice evergreen screen, maybe between you and your neighbors in that dappled shade area, then this would be a great option. You get that evergreen upright size and color, but then you also get flowers, which we love. Um, hydrangeas, y'all. Ruby slippers. Ruby slippers is a really nice oak leaf hydrangea. Now these have been in the greenhouse for a little bit, so they're not coloring up with that fall color. Uh, mine at the gate are nice, rich, rich burgundy red, gorgeous colors. And then of course, like I said, there's, um, then we have Greensboro red. This is another camellia. Obviously it's gonna be a Greensboro red, really deep, deep red color to it. Perfect time to go ahead and be planting these guys along with your hostas, right? We've got hostas down here. All of these are gonna be, Cece has done an amazing job putting them and grouping them according to um, their growing conditions. So you could totally put in the camellias in the back, then the oak leaf hydrangeas, the feather falls grass, the hostas, the eucharist, mix it up. That's what I love about shade gardens is a lot of times is that it's not so, um, orchestrated maybe as a full sun garden and it's just more woodland and natural which is what i love along with that in that shaded area would be your hellebores hellebores linton roses and the great thing there's multiple great things about linton roses one they are going to be more shade right so part sun to shade they're deer resistant because the leaves are really tough leathery and on this on the edges of them i'm not saying that they hurt you they don't but they are kind of pokey because they're jagged so they don't feel good on the deer's lips and they bloom in the winter time so lenten right we think of the season of lent before christmas not before christmas before easter right so they are a winter flower and they come in a range of colors this is the ice and roses rose these are sterile, so they're not going to drop seeds everywhere. And that rose is a nice soft pink that's going to be nice and upright. Then we did another, Cece did another pairing. Here we have Sun, where we have October Magic Rose Camellia. This is actually going to be a sun loving camellia. That whole October Magic series from Southern Living is a full sun camellia. Pair it with your Radiant Sibelia, your Yin and Yang Viburnums again, right? You can see, look here, we have a whole little, you know, magical, whimsical farmhouse, uh, farmyard here. We've got Babe the Pig, we've got Elvis Pigsley, Millie and Molly the Pigs, and then that cute little cat. All of these unique stone pieces are for sale. They make amazing Christmas gifts, especially if you have somebody that is a gardener that enjoys being outside, but maybe you just, maybe one, they're really picky about their plants. All right, you don't wanna buy them a plant, right? Or maybe they just already have a really full garden and you just don't know what to buy them. I'm telling you, the little unique stone pieces, they are always winners. Another pairing, North Poles, the gardenias, and then here we have the Perfecto Mundo orange, which is a nice, it's not a Clemson orange, it's more of a burnt orange. With another pairing, these are the hollies, these are the arrow point hollies. This is what, I'm kind of hoping that y'all don't buy at least two of these, we've got more. These are going to be perfect in my urns on my front porch for Christmas. So I probably won't even plant them. I may, because I may leave them in the winter. I don't know, we'll figure that out. But putting them in the urns and then putting Christmas lights around it by the front porch, how cute would that be? I think that would be really, really sweet that you could put some things underneath it. So that's what I'm gonna do with these guys um, for the season. And then once the season's over, you know, then we can put them in the ground somewhere. Great evergreen. And even though they are a holly, they're not, they don't poke, poke you. More unique stone, right? So you've got, this is part of the Biltmore series. This is that small Venetian urn, bashful Betty, of course. And we have a lot of these pieces. This is the ancient age all here together. 
But we have, um, like we have Bashful Betty in all the colors. We have the Gecko in all the colors, Sassy Frog in all the colors. So maybe you don't like Ancient Age. Maybe you're more of a light walnut or a dark walnut. We got those two. Cece just did a great job when she was putting things together, keeping that color palette all together. Um, Sprinter Boxwoods, the Fire Chiefs, everything here, she has just done a great job of putting landscapes together. Landscape ideas here together give you heights, textures, shapes, beautiful job. Now, speaking of the unique stone, we are open, remember I told you, until December the 16th. Get your little hineys out here and get some unique stone, wonderful Christmas presents. Um, our next order will be in March. I don't remember the exact date of March. If you would like to place a special order for that March delivery, if you will email us at orders at gardeningwithcreekside.com and let us know the name and the item number, you can look on Unique Stone's website. Just say, I want the Charleston Basket Boy item number, blah, 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 blah. And I, you know, can I have a price quote? We will absolutely get you a quote. And then if we need to do a special order for you for that March, we can do that for you. Um, that way, if you have something particular in mind, then you're guaranteed to get it, right? So with the Basket Boys, this is a Charleston boy. So Charleston boy comes as a bird bath and a basket. Everything from here down is the exact same, but obviously this is going to be the bird bath. And then the basket is an actual planter. So if you want, you know, a basket boy in aged stone, just let us know and we can quote you on that for sure. The little floral cartouches, Cece has gone through and all, when you see the plants inside of a planter, they're not planted. We just have kind of the, the containers in there. But this little floral cartouche is just a nice classic on the small side, right? It's easily that like you can pick this up, you can move it around. If you wanted to put a little perennial in there, you absolutely could. With the little hairy owls, we've got bunnies, we've got the derby fox, all sorts of great neat little items with unique stone and then of course right over here she has done a, just a magnificent display of everything and putting these colors together so to give you an idea of the colors we've got so light walnut and dark walnut can be very similar sometimes when we have them right beside each other it's even hard for us to tell which is light and which is dark um, but just know that the walnuts are going to be in this brown family and the darks are supposed to be darker, right? Um, to give you an idea on that. Then you have a stone. A stone is more of that natural concrete look, um, has that gray, but you can see st still it has a little bit of the black in there. Then we have ancient age. So ancient age can be, it have that little bit of brown, it'll have a bit of green, it'll have a bit of um, yellow, the amber green, obviously, is going to be more in the green family for you. And I think that's it. They did have sienna red. Sienna red was more of like a terracotta color, and they have discontinued that. So just in case you had sienna red, it has been discontinued. Marianne, I'm looking at you, sister. Um, so we're going to have to pick you a new color for your unique stone. But they're all just beautiful little pieces that you can, even if you're traveling, you can put these in your suitcase. TSA doesn't mind one bit. You can wrap them up in your pajamas, put it in your suitcase, whether it's a cute little turtle or the angel or the little, um, the rose rim planter. Such a sweet little thing right here. It's great for succulents. Put that pansy viola in there um, and does really, really well. Herm the worm, we've got lots of Herm the worms. Y'all love Herm the worm as much as I do. Herm the worm is actually three pieces and you can put it in the garden. If you wanna put him in a straight line, you can. Some, it's funny to hear the kids when they come visit and they're like, oh, there's a dragon. Oh, there's a snake. Uh, technically he is a worm. He's Herm the worm, but yeah, if you wanna call him a snake or a serpent or whatever, then that's totally fine too. You absolutely can do that. But just know that we have got a huge assortment of unique stone, whether it is massive pieces or it is the smaller pieces, we have got that for you. If you are anywhere within like driving distance of North Carolina where I am, um, I dare say you absolutely can still plant. So you've got plenty of time. We are still gonna be planting the, the 
signature garden and lots of other gardens. It is great. In fact, part of me is kind of glad I haven't planted a lot yet because if you're from around here, you know we have not gotten any rain and that has been very unusual for us here in the fall because typically we have very wet falls, which is great right after you plant a ton of plants. So come see us Wednesday through Saturdays, nine to three until December the 16th. We are here um, and then we're going to take a break for about two months and we'll meet you back here um, as far as the retail garden center, meet you back here in February. Videos are still coming for you five days a week. We got you. Um, but anyway, yep. All right. I think that's covered it for today. As always, we so appreciate you. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.